My 600 pound life. The show about morbidly obese patients visiting Dr. Now in Houston, Texas to try and get gastric bypass surgery to lose weight. Now, this show puts a lot on the table, but there are some things that it doesn't quite show. So today in this video, we're gonna show you some of them. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Well, that's, uh, you know why you have pain in their leg. Yes. <laughs> Dr. Now was accused of being just in it for the money. There's a common misconception out there suggesting that Dr. Yunin, AKA Dr. Now, participates in the show for the huge payout. In actuality, he oftentimes doesn't even get paid at all for the work he does. Some patients of this show have not had the financial means required to help themselves with the weight loss process. Dr. Now has been known to treat patients on his own tab if the situation warrants it. The list quotes him as saying, we don't need to be rich. We do make a living, but we don't need to worry about making a living out of every patient we see. I'm walking as soon as possible. Okay. And if that fails, the second up. Dr. Now is actually an amazing doctor. It may be difficult to decipher just how awesome Dr. Now really is by assessing his personality alone. His abrasive demeanor on the show is a bit curt and straightforward, but his concern for the greater good of each patient is very real. His surgical record and incredible talent as a doctor are very just as, and are not in any way exaggerated for the sake of the show. Those lucky enough to be treated by him are truly in wonderful hands. And you're still recovering from your surgery well, but what's going on with your weight? It is rumored that patients get paid to be on the show, and a lot of money at that. One would assume that after literally barring it all for the sake of the show, these participants are being handsomely compensated. In actuality, this is entirely fake and untrue. Patients have their medical and surgical bills covered by the show, but beyond that, all they're sure to see is a $1,500 talent fee. They are definitely not striking it rich as they put all their vulnerable moments up on the small screen to share with the world. Uh, that's fine. It's not about being at the number. It is about understanding. Some patients show great progress in losing weight, but still get the surgery done anyway. This is a dose of reality that is a bit troubling, but it remains very, very true. As each patient's life is documented over the course of a one year period, it quickly becomes noticeable when one of them starts to lose weight. Sometimes the patients demonstrate their ability to lose weight on their own, but are still ultimately operated on. The show insists this is essential in order to expedite the process and start getting people back on a healthy track with a quick boost. It's rumored that patients lie about their pain. This point may be very difficult for someone who is in a relatively healthy shape to understand. It's important to note that some of these morbidly obese individuals are experiencing an incredible amount of pain. Their organs are working overtime and their bodies are heavy to carry around. It may be difficult to perceive that someone sitting still for most of the day could be in any amount of pain, but the list talks about the physical and mental anguish they're contending with. Get to subscribe to the channel. That way you enter in to our monthly shout out giveaway. The lives of the patients are definitely at risk. The real risk to human life as a result of extreme obesity may shock you. These patients' lives are truly at risk, and there is absolutely nothing exaggerated about that. Their organs are working unnecessarily hard to keep their bodies alive, and the impact on their health is a significant one. One of the biggest risk factors faced by those who are morbidly obese is the strain placed on the heart. It has to work too hard, and eventually, that pace becomes impossible to maintain. Now, that's the reason she's been failing to eat properly, and making zero progress. It is said that the surgeries fix the weight problems, and that is false. Viewers follow the painful struggle of the patients, and when they go under the knife, it's easy for us to assume that's the end of their ordeal and happy days lie ahead. Sadly, this is not true at all. Surgery can't and won't fix everyone's obesity problems. Enablers still need to be managed. Psychological work still needs to be done to determine the triggers that led to this disease. And lifestyles need to be severely readjusted to form healthier habits. This isn't always a sustainable list for patients. Yes. Yes, sir. So we need to give you another copy? Could you? Well, those are some dark secrets about my 600 pound life. We hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like if you did and subscribe for content like this in the future. Comment down below any other secrets you know about my 600 pound life and have a great day.